We are a family of six who call the ocean our home. We feel incredibly blessed to be doing this life together as a young family, embracing the ups and downs of what is a life at sea. This is our floating home, Happy Days, and you are invited to follow along as we share this incredible adventure. Have a laugh and be inspired to pursue a life less ordinary. Click the subscribe button to keep up to date as we see where this journey takes us. In the last episode, we share some of the highs and lows of our time in Canada. In this episode, we skate through Bristol, tick off more boat jobs and get lost on Block Island. As we head back south towards the Caribbean, we make the most of our time by ticking off some boat jobs while we wait for hurricane season to finish. So, the old and the new. I bet you that internally this is still sound. It's like a brass ultimately with a chrome coating on the outside. So, you know, that's, that's gonna last forever, but there's a new expensive shiny one, such as marine insurance. That's the only reason. But it certainly looks prettier, I guess, if nothing else. We've tried polishing this one up a couple of times, but it now has forever character. So let's hope we can get this one on. You can see it's about 30 mil, close to an inch bigger. And it's also fatter in the ends too, with this cut out, we've got to be aware of that. The Seagull Striker has a really important job whereby it counters the tension of the forestay. The forestay is always pulling up through the cross beam, whereas the Seagull Striker is creating a downward force. So, super important piece of kit. On with the new. So we're intentionally threading it on here more because of this hole that we were talking about. We Sort of a, a bit of a guessing game to begin with. I don't have to take it off too many times to get it right. But we need it sitting in the right space um, so we can get it nice and tight. So lots more screwing to do. What are we up to? We are changing secondary fuel filter for the first time. So you're going to make sure you get A, you turn it the correct way, <laughs> B, you've got enough space. <laughs> it's half the battle once you figure that bit out. Alright, so we've taken the old one off. There she is. The old yogurt container came in handy. We've uh, topped this one up with uh, some diesel so that we don't have to prime it too much. We've put a wee bit of uh, engine oil around the seal. The bells is going to gently wedge it in there and do it back up by hand. Key is to keep it flat, so if you can, I'll get a hand on the bottom. Alright, I think I got the first one's going. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I reckon you've done a fine job there, <laughs> <laughs> There we go, you got a bit of a... Oh. It's such a... It's a pretty awkward position with all those three pipes around it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this fuel filter down here going. So you hear it go tick, 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 tick. The idea is I'm going to do that two or three times to fill, even though we put fuel in there, I just want to fill it up, get rid of any air in the system. So that's the plan. Time to do some cooking. Mm. Smells interesting, eh? Like vinegar. Yeah. yeah. So the reason we're doing it is because it got really mouldy. And you couldn't scrub it off, so we've just gotten rid of it and done it again. So it's all aesthetics. It wasn't like cracked or anything. It's just pretty gross. Okay, we're now approaching the uh, the time where you just stop touching it. <laughs> Otherwise, you're like, I'm just gonna, and then you make it worse, and then oh, and then you just it compounds. So we're gonna back away slowly. <laughs> Thank you. 
Pizza train, we got some pumpkin coming along. Look at him. Bop, 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 bop. Yep. <laughs> Pip's, Pip was helping. She was here. She's just uh, cleaned her shower drain so when she has a shower, the water will pump out. <laughs> Where are you, Pip? Just in here. <laughs> in other news, what did we learn about the temperature? I checked it and it said it's going to drop down to 7 degrees tonight, but the real feel, I love when they do the real feel, said 1 degree. That's uh, <laughs> probably going to be... It cold. Yeah. As you can see, I have just been wearing my jacket inside all day. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not uncommon. It's just normal. So, but right, in, in here it's beautiful. It actually beautiful. is really nice. It's uh, really outside cool. with the wind chill. The way we do groceries looks a little different to land life with a car. Normally it involves skateboards, one folding bike, and our trusty dinghy to get it done. Ah, you're eating it! Look at it. The... It's a bit back heavy, I can't stop. Pack horse! That is the realities of groceries in like a first world country where there's like smooth pavement and stuff. Ah. Yeah. Load it up. Mission complete. Well done. This is day three of wet weather. We're done. Weddy's on. We're getting into the town. Finding a park. just had what I think is the longest run of wet weather we've had while living on a floating home. Uh, so today's a day, we upped anchor just after sun up this morning and we're heading south. Yeah, the sun didn't really come up. <laughs> yeah, well the sun didn't come up, it became light. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's just an amazing feeling to have the sun come out and uh, get the sails up, so we're away. when I open, yeah, not good, and shut. So, uh, it has, if I'm honest, we've been managing it for a wee while. There's just been a couple of drips when we open it. This is the gross pipe, right? It's the um, holding tank out. So, we open it maybe every two or three days, depending where we are, and... Every time we've opened it, there's been a drip or two, and we've just put like a bit of toilet paper there, it's caught the drips. And we've done that for... Almost since we've bought it. Like, yeah, like a bad. year, just over a year. Yeah. So, and today it's just packed it. So yeah. we have just rocked up. Like, and we're like keen to go and explore, mate, aren't we? But... Yeah. It's way more important. This is way more important, we gotta get it done. So yeah. let's get in the water. Do you want me to come and show you how to put the plug in, or you're comfortable? Uh, you dive down and you put yep. it evenly yep. up. Maybe I'll tie a string onto it so I can pull it back up. Nicely. Yeah, that's a good call. Okay, I'll try to get it in this time. Alright, take your time. 
get eyes on it and sort of make sure it's seated properly, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, screws coming out. Okay. That's not too bad. Okay, so here's our O ring. Let's get some paper towel job and we'll clean that up. Look how flattened out that one is. So flattened. So that's definitely our issue. This is a new one. Nice and round. Big O ring back on now. Bells are no, still in the this water. Is, so this is a new, brand new one? Brand new one. So. What's going on there? The takeaway is you can, well we haven't done it yet, but we do have the plug in. From underneath. And the ball valve is shut, so you'd think that it wouldn't shut let water in anyway because the ball valve's shut, but honestly, it's like not one of those things that you're like, oh, it should be okay. Yeah, no, no, you don't so want to mess with it. We've got belt and braces, which is why we've got bells in the water. Yeah. Gotta make sure that it's going in nicely. What we've just did that you didn't see is... um. We reread the instructions and it said to whack a bunch of grease inside the actual cog. Not just the O-ring. Not just on the O-rings. So we just pulled it back out and added some extra silicone grease in there. Yeah, this is the one, Chong. So we'll put a fresh piece there. All right, is there any drips or have we solved it? No drips. No Last time drips. we did that, it was pegging out. So it was definitely a busted O-ring. The takeaway here is Probably do it within an hour of a haul out facility in case it goes wrong. That would be, there's wisdom in that. We are not that close. We're closer than we could be. You could be mid ocean and you just have to do it, right? We well, um, could probably go low tide on a beach. <laughs> Mum's the right, eternal, I have different eternal, eternal optimist. <laughs> I'm like, I want to, I want to be able to rip this thing out of the water if, if we have to, mm. but. Um, anyway, done. Not hard. Uh, don't do what I did and go, oh no, it's okay. Yeah, um, don't panic. Don't panic. It's designed to do that. So, yeah. and it did what it was designed to yeah. do. It was, so that's a, that's props to the product. Yeah, actually. it is. It is. Yeah. Uh, side note, we have had both stainless steel composite, uh, ball valves and brass ball valves, uh, in pry vessels. I'm a hundred percent fan of plastic. Yeah. I know that sounds like ridiculous um but the composite plastics these days i think the best brand is true design which comes out of new zealand these aren't these are marilon um but similar principle similar, yeah. they don't seize like we've had stems break on brass ones and on on that was actually on a stainless one if i'm honest um anyway these seem to be very good to us so high five uh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wee bit silicon and cream yeah, yeah. Now that water isn't leaking into the boat, it's time to explore. Did you just run over a snake? Did she literally step on it? Oh no, stepped over it. It's okay. He's more scared of you than we are of him, which means he's pretty scared. Let's go! <laughs> This is actually pretty rad. Not 100% sure where we are, where we should be and shouldn't be. But, um, it's beautiful. It's, uh, world class. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a world class. Some really cool buildings that we just love. With green grass and ocean views. Beautiful. Love it. So, we've been running for a while now. <laughs> Two hours. That's a few k's underfoot, and uh, we just had to sneak through. A bit of a shortcut. Uh, turns out, running around the block, that is uh, Block Island, is a wee bit further than we first thought. Well, further than I thought. These guys are nailing it. <laughs>
Thanks, Block Island. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's been nice to come yeah. back. Where to next? Come and join us next time as we pick some grapes with our friends at North Fork, High Five Liberty on our way through, and kite surf at Fort Munro. Mm-hmm. <laughs>